Well, let's start with the situation for Friday night around our region. We've got a small occluded low skirting along to the north of our area, which will try to increase our crowds over, increase our crowds, increase our clouds. There we go overnight and make it mostly cloudy for a couple of hours, but likely it'll stay dry. Precip will be to the north of the border. Then once we get into the weekend, Saturday, high pressure should make it warm, sunny and dry, perhaps too dry. Fire danger will be high both Saturday and probably Sunday, so we have to be careful when we're outdoors. But relief could be on the way once we get to Monday with a low pressure system coming our way that won't completely miss us, but it may not completely hit us either. Come Monday, Tuesday, maybe even Wednesday, 20 to 40% chance for rain showers, maybe peppered here and there with a little bit of springtime thunderstorm activity. We need the rain, whatever we can get, will put to good use. Now, let's take a look at our short-term forecast. Friday night into Saturday morning in Minnesota, the low temps should go from about 30 to 38 degrees with a partly cloudy sky. For Wisconsin and Michigan, could be as warm as 35 for the low, so temperatures are increasing for the weekend, which means then into the 60s for Wisconsin, Michigan on Saturday, mostly sunny sky. Mostly sunny for Minnesota too with 50s by the lake and 60s inland, but maybe the 60s only last through Saturday. We may cool back into the 50s by uh, Sunday, but the normal this time of year is the low 40s, so we will be warmer than normal for several days, egging on the fire danger just a little bit. But again, a rain chance on Monday could help solve the trouble at least a little bit. We'll talk about the entire seven-day forecast in more detail, though, if you'll take a look at CBS 3 Evening News at 5, 6, and 10 p.m.